Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed about lambda functions and anomalous functions. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video or if you don't know what is a lambda function, how to use them, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss about filter, map and reduce with respect to the lambda function so that you will understand much about the lambda function. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me tell the purpose of the filter. A filter function is useful for you to filter the sum of the elements. Suppose let's take that you have taken a list of elements which consists of even number and odd number. Now you want to display only the even numbers, then you can use the filter. Now map is on the list of elements you want to do some operation. Suppose let's take that all the elements you want to multiply with the 2 and then you want to display the result that you can do with the help of the map. And reduce is you want to reduce all the elements to something. Suppose let's take that you have list of elements, all the list of elements you want to compute the final sum. Then you will get a single number by adding all the elements sum. 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on like that if you have a list of elements all the elements you will add individual sum and you will get the final result. So these functions I will discuss in detail with the help of lambda functions and without using lambda functions also. Now to do that one I need to take a list called num and I want to have a list of elements. Suppose let's take that I'm writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are the elements are there in the list. Then I can write some events is equal to list of. Then I need to use the filter. Okay, now filter will take two arguments. The first one is the function. It takes the two arguments, one is the function and another one is the list of elements. So the list of elements I can write the num here. Now the function, what I will use, I will discuss here. Now you can have a doubt, sir, why you are using the list here? It is filter, filter is taking two parameters, it is absolutely fine. Filter is taking one function and one list, it is absolutely fine. On that list, using this function, it is filtering the elements. Now it will return the list sequence of elements. Now the sequence of elements you want to make it as a list so that's why I'm using the list here. Is it clear? Now this function I will use a function called is even. Is even is the name of the function and the list I can write here is num because num is having all the list of elements. So if I want to define a function I have to use the keyword called DAF and then I have to write the name of the function is even and it will take one parameter n and then I have to write return n modulus 2 is equal to 0. What is the meaning of n modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 0? The given number is an even number. Then it will return the true from the list and that one will be stored in the list and then finally it will display. So if I write print if I write the statement called print events, then you will get a list of even numbers. What are the even numbers are there in this one? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. This will be the output. So the events list will consist of all the even numbers from the given list called num. This is absolutely fine. So to do that one, what you are doing for executing one single statement, you are defining a one function. Instead of that one, we can use the lambda functions. How can we use the lambda functions in place of this is even function? This is even is a user defined function. Okay. So now how can I modify the code? Let me discuss for you. Let me erase this one. This one will not be further useful for us. Instead of this user defined function, we are defining a, a lambda function, which is a single line function and it does not have any name and it will have an argument and expressions. So what I will do, I will use a lambda function and I will use n is the argument, then it will return n expression. It will give an expression 
n modulus 2 is equal to equal to 0, then you are writing num. So, if you use like this also, if you use like this in place of this user defined function called is even, you are writing the same thing. The lambda, what is the argument? You are taking the parameter n, na? that parameter I am taking here and then I am performing whatever the operation you are returning, that expression I am writing here. n modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 0, then the n is an even number. So, that will be stored in the events list. So, finally, again you will get the output as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Is it clear? So, this is the purpose of the filter. Now, I want to perform the map operation on this events. So, how I can do is that, let me write map 1 is equal to, what map operation I want to do is that, I want to multiply all the elements which are there in the event list, I want to multiply with 2. Is it clear? So, how I will do is that, again I have to make it into a list and I will use the map, again the map function will take two arguments, one is the function and another one is the the list ok. So, you can write a user defined function, again you can define a function, again what you are doing, you will take some n variable, then you will write return n into 2 like that you will write. Am I right or wrong because you will take one element, let us take that in events, you have 2, 3, 4, 5 like that, the 2 you will take and you will multiply with 2 and then you will store it in the map as a list of elements. Instead of that one, instead of again using a user defined function which will execute single statement, instead of that one, you can perform a lambda function. Okay, let me write lambda and it will take in argument n and it will give an expression as n into 2 on which list you want to do, on the list called events I want to do, not on the num. So, I will write here events list. Okay, so what will happen? Initially, the events list function, sorry, events list is a list. It consists of elements 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 will be there. Now, on that one, what you are doing, you are taking each element, you are multiplying with 2. So, you are having a one more list called map 1. It will have 2 into 2, which will be 4. 4 into 2 will be 8, eight 6 into 2 will be 12, 8 into 2 which will be 16, 10 into 2 20 that will be there. If you want to display all the elements in the list called map 1 then you can write here print map 1. It will display all the elements, it will display as 4, 8, 10, 12, 16, 20. Is it clear? I hope it is fine for you. Now I want to use the reduce. Let me use it for you. Now, if I want to use the reduce, let me write it as reduce 1 is equal to, it will be a, not a, a list because you will get only one element. Here I want to perform all the sum of all the elements in the map 1 list. I want to compute the sum. So, I will get a finally one number. Okay. So, I can use reduce. Let me write it here with black color marker reduce also will take two parameters one is the user defined function and the list the user defined function you can write and then finally you want to compute the sum that is okay it will be again a single line instead of that one i will use the lambda function so i will write lambda i will write an argument a comma b because if you have a list of elements suppose let's say that you have an elements one two three four First, you will compute 1 plus 2, which will be 3. Am I right? Then 3 comma 3. So, 3 plus 3, you will perform 6. Okay. So, after adding all these 3 elements, you got 6. Then 6 plus 4, you will get 10. Like that, individually, first 2, 2, 2 elements, you will compute the addition. So, A comma B, then the expression will be A plus B on the list called map 1. Now, remember one thing. If you want to use the reduce, you need to import the one module, okay. So, how you can do is that from, from func tools, 
import reduce you need to import the reduce okay so this statement is very important if you want to use the reduce okay so you can write it now if you display whatever the value is there in the reduce then what will happen i will discuss with you now okay look at here first you are getting the even numbers as 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 comma 10 like this you are getting when you are performing the map these values are becoming as 4 8 12 16 and then it is making as 20 then if you are using the reduce so you are taking what 2 2 elements 4 comma 8 you are taking if you perform the addition you will get a 12 then 12 comma 12 you are taking and you are returning an expression called 12 plus 12 which is 24 so if you are doing the all these three you are getting 24 24 plus 16 40 so here you will get 40 40 plus 20 is 60 that will be stored in the variable called reduce 1 that you are displaying so finally here you will get the output as 60 i hope it is clear for you for better understanding i will execute all this program in the jupyter notebook now let me take a variable called nums and store the list of elements such as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these are the list of elements are there in the variable called nums now what i want to do is that i want to perform events is equal to a list and I want to apply a filter function. Filter function will take two variables. One is a, a function and another one is a, a list of elements. So I am taking a user defined function called is even and I am writing the list of elements as a new ms. Now we need to define the function. So how I can define a function with the help of a keyword called def and name of the function is is even and it will take one argument is n and it will return the even numbers okay now if i print the list of elements which are there in the events then you will see you will get an output as all the even numbers from the list called nums so it will take list of all elements and it will return the even numbers which is 2 4 6 8 10 now look at here this function is executing single statement instead of writing a entire function we can use the lambda function so how can we use the lambda functions we can write a keyword called lambda and then we have to write the argument and then we have to write an expression the expression is n modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 0 now if i write the print events i will get the same output as 2 4 6 8 10 okay so instead of user defined function we have done the same task with the help of a lambda function now we will discuss about the map okay what the map will do is that a map also will take two variables one is the a function and another one is list of elements so what i will do is that i will write map one is equal to it will be map will return all the elements in a sequence now i want to convert into a list so that's why i'm writing the list here so i'm doing the type casting then what i want to do is that lambda i will take n and i will multiply with 2 from where from the events list so i'm taking one lambda function and one list of elements which is events so what are the elements which are there in the events what are the elements are there in the events list which is 2 4 6 8 10 now what i am doing i am taking each element i am multiplying with 2 okay so you will get the output suppose if i print if i print map 1 okay then i will get the output as 4 8 12 16 20 now the same task instead of lambda we can use an user defined function and we can define the function also is it clear now if i run the code i will get the output as 4 8 6 4 8 12 16 20 this is the output i got now i want to use the reduce okay so what i have to do is that i will write reduce 
वन इज इक्वल टू रेड्यूस ओके एंड देन आई वॉन्ट टू यूज a lambda function see instead of lambda function you can write the user defined function also what i want to do is that i will take two variables a comma b and i want to return a plus b value so whatever the parameters i'm taking i want to return an expression called a plus b so some of them i need to do it on which list i want to do it on the map 1 so what it will give an output for you is 4 plus 8 is 12 12 plus 12 is 24 Twenty-four plus sixteen is forty. Forty plus twenty is sixty. This is what you should get when you are printing the radius one. Okay, but if I execute this one, I will get an error. Why? Because you need to import the radius module. So that is what the error we are getting. So let me import it. How can I do it? From funs tools import. reduce you need to reduce the import the reduce module okay now look at here you got the output as 60 i hope you have understood whatever i have discussed in this concept such as filter map reduce still if you have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day